Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to use comments in C Sharp. Now a comment is basically just a special line or block of text in our program that's gonna get ignored when we run the program. So comments are really useful for leaving little notes or comments inside of your program. And a comment is essentially just a line of code that's meant for humans and not meant for the computer. And these can come in handy. So I'm gonna show you guys basically how these work and what we can do with them. If I wanted to create a comment, I could just come down here and type two forward slashes, just like that. And now you'll see that the text in my text editor has changed color. It's now this green color, and that's basically signifying that we have a comment here. So like I said, a comment is a little line or a little block of code that's actually gonna get ignored by C Sharp. So when I run my program, anything that I have inside of this comment is just gonna get ignored. The comment is for the programmer. So it's for me or it's for another developer who comes in and is reading my file. So I could leave like a little note here. I could say like a to do, like, you know, maybe this block of code needs to be done. Or I could even come in here and like describe a line of code. So I could describe this line of code over here. I could say like, this prints something out, etc. cetera. Um, you could also take these comments and put them after a line of code. So I could come over here and say two forward slashes and you could type out, you know, a comment, whatever. Um, and this is what we call a single line comment. So a single line comment is a comment that can only be on one line. So if I was to make a new line, you'll see down here, this is no longer a comment and you'll see it's actually throwing an error because the program is trying to render it as actual code. Um, but in addition to single line comments like this, a lot of times you're gonna wanna have comments that are span multiple lines. One thing you can do is just make multiple lines like that. Um, and you'll see a lot of developers do stuff like that. You can also use a starting and an ending tag. So you can type in a forward slash and a star and now everything that comes after this forward slash and a star in our file is gonna be considered a comment. That is until we end it off with another star and a forward slash. So I can say star forward slash, and now you'll see only the stuff that's in between these two little tags is gonna be considered a comment. And these can go on multiple lines. So those are basically the two types of comments that we can use. And really a comment is extremely open-ended. I mean, there's no wrong way to use a comment. It's really however you wanna use it. Um, and I do wanna show you guys one other way these can be useful. So let's say that I'm writing code and you know, I wanna try and run my code without a certain line in it. So maybe I'm like, you know, have a program and I think one line might be causing it to break or I just wanted to see what it would look like without a single line of code. Well, one option would be to remove that line of code. So for example, I could take this line of code, maybe this is a line of code that I think is causing my program problems. I could delete it and then I can go ahead and run the program, right? And then nothing gets printed out. But here's the problem. When I do that, I have to actually like physically remove the line of code. Instead, what I could do is comment it out. So I could just put a comment in front of this. And now this whole thing is basically gonna get ignored by C Sharp. So I can run the program and we're still gonna be running it without that line of code, but I don't have to physically delete it from the file. And that just allows me to keep track of it a little bit better and you know I can still have it there, it's still taking up space in the file, it's just gonna get ignored. So that can be a really useful way. So really I'd say comments you know, are basically used for two things. The first is like writing out little messages or notes, either for yourself or for other programmers or for commenting out lines of code. And you'll see people do both of those and they're both uh, really awesome. So like I said, comments are pretty much open-ended. You can do whatever you want with them, but I'd say those are the two most common use cases. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.